Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. Happy Independence Day to all of my fellow Haitians. Today is a very special day. And we always start off the day by eating our Haitian soup. Okay. Here's what we're going to use. Um, fresh a pumpkin. And this is squash. And I also have some carrots. We have some turnips, one of the purple ones. We have some yellow yam. I have some celery here. We have some macaroni. And I may use some, just a little bit of spaghetti as well. And we have our cabbage. These are the ingredients I'm going to go ahead and use and make this fabulous. And of course, our meat. Okay. I'll come back and show you how I put this fabulous soup together. All right. Our vegetables, I cut them in medium size. Okay. And I did put them in water because I didn't want my yam to change colors. So you want to go ahead and the potatoes. So I put them in water. So this way they can keep their nice um colors okay all right now i want to show you um for those who don't have a blender do not panic you can just use anything a ketchup bottle or anything that's gonna help you mash this up and it'll give you the same consistency of a blender okay so you, all you're gonna do is just keep mashing it down i don't want to make too much noise okay Continue to mash it down until it gives you the same consistency, like I said, like the blender, and you're good to go. Okay? All right, my stove is on, but before I go any further, I just want to show you my meat. This is our beef. Okay? I've already cooked it. I gave it color. I didn't want to waste time with the video. I do have several videos up on how to clean and season your beef. So you can go ahead and look at those videos. All right, my pot is hot. I'm using a big pot that we're making. And I'm going to add some oil, okay? Not much oil, just a little bit of oil. And the reason I'm going to add the oil is because I am I like to fry some onions, okay, and garlic. Please do not tell my mother that I did this. This is what I like to do. I like to start it off with some onion and garlic. You could skip this step, but this just adds another layer of flavor, in my opinion. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let this saute. Do not allow this to burn, because if it burns, your soup will have a terrible taste. So we're going to let this go for about a minute, and then I'll come back. All right, it's about good now. What I'm going to add, and this is the liquid. I'm going to add some of the liquid that are... Uh, beef cooked in, because this is going to add a lot of flavor. I'm going to add just a little bit more. And then to that, I have some water that I boiled. Okay. We're going to allow this to come to a boil. And then I'll show you what I do next. All right, now we're going to add our turnips. And you're going to add all of the vegetables that will take just a little bit longer, but do not add your potatoes until the end, close to the end. I'm adding celery. I mean, these don't take time to cook, the celery and the carrots, but it's going to help flavor our water and put our yam in there all 
Okay, I add all my vegetables instead of, except the potatoes. So I'm gonna add my cabbage. I should have bought more cabbage, that's fine. And I have these, this leaf here. I'm gonna add maybe, maybe four or five. Okay, and just cut it like that. And this is gonna add a nice flavor. It's, fit, it's strong, so you don't wanna add too much. It gives me like a cilantro type smell. Do not add too many of that, or too much. I'm gonna add some thyme, fresh thyme. I'm gonna add some parsley. That's all I have. Okay, so we got our parsley in here. We have our thyme in here. I'm gonna add my macaroni in here. Uh, you know what? I think I, I should have. I'm gonna break some of them in half. They're too long. Same to it. Okay, put my macaroni in like that. It smells so <laughs> almost. <laughs> and, and now we're gonna add our pumpkin in. All right. I, off camera, I did add some one green onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one just to show you. I'm gonna add my potatoes in now. And I have my stove on a medium high. And now we're gonna flavor. I'm gonna use my non-MSG Maggie. I'm gonna just use a little bit of it. That's too much. Because remember, we have flavor from the um, sauce or the broth of our beef, okay? So I'm gonna add a little bit in like this. I'm gonna stir it. The camera is not doing this any justice because it's beautiful in person, but I don't know if it reflects the nice yellow color in the camera, okay? So now, also, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. And just a little bit of adobo, not much. And that's, oh, some black pepper, some fresh black pepper. Add some fresh black pepper. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna give it a stir and then give it a taste. Okay. Almost forgot to add my apis. I'm gonna just add two spoons. Okay, that's gonna add a nice flavor. And if it's missing anything else, then what I'll do is just add um, a little bit of salt. But so far, it is absolutely fabulous. And if you notice, I didn't add any acid to it is because our meat already has acid mm, that tastes good guys okay so we're gonna put the lid on it and allow it to cook 
and then I'll come back. All right, it's been cooking for a minute. It's looking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do now is add my meat back in. I'm gonna add our meat in. It is looking fabulous. It smells amazing. And then I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to add some butter. And this is unsalted butter. I'm going to give it a taste. Fabulous. It doesn't need anything else. Okay, so we're gonna allow the meat to cook in there for about a minute. I still have a little bit more sauce that was in my pot. I'm gonna add it in there. Okay, because you don't want anything to go to waste. All right, it is delicious, y'all. Wow, see all this meat. Although I don't, I'm not crazy about the meat I'm just crazy about the macaroni and the yam and the broth see how it thickened up and as it get, sits it's gonna thicken up more so you don't want to add too much pumpkin because you don't want to overdo it all right so we're gonna allow this to cook for one more minute our soup is done guys it is ready to serve it is absolutely delicious it smells amazing in the house until next time please like comment do not forget to subscribe delicious